Hi, I hope that you watched the video about the various numbers, the real, rational, irrational, natural, whole, integer. I hope you watched that video to see how things are related. Now I want to use one of my programs that is called putting numbers in their place. Now this is part of Algebra 1, but it's actually in my menu. It's under foundational topics because I was hoping that we would have learned it in 7th and 8th grade. but. We always have to review this. So here we want to come here and look for the real number problems, the real number system. Let's take this. And uh, I have, I had in that other video actual physical baskets that I put everything in. And here I have an equivalent drawing. The natural numbers are at the center. And then after that, you add the zero. And I put this little zero in the spelling of the word whole. So you remember, you add the zero to the natural numbers, and you get the whole numbers. Then you take the positive and negative values, and you get the integers. And then anything that can be written as a fraction of integers, and since 1 is an integer, all of the regular integers could be made into a fraction by putting them over 1. They are all rational. And then anything that cannot be written as a fraction of integers is irrational. And together, they are real numbers. Now, when I made this program, I did a lot of work just trying to get these boxes to respond properly. I made it so that when you check natural, everything else that's automatic is checked as well. Watch, I'll, I'll check the natural. And I get natural, whole, integer, rational, real. When I click integer, an integer doesn't necessarily have to be whole or natural, but it does have to be rational and real. Irrational it has to be real, but it's not any of these. See how well, when you click them, just the um, ones that they must be, if that's the one. Now here, you can't have, see I put this warning here, you need to know if a number is real, it must be either rational or irrational. You can't just say, I want a real number. It either has to be rational, then it's real, or it has to be irrational. No, it's real. There's nothing in between. Now I have ready to put numbers in their place. What's going to happen is that I'm going to present you with a number, and then you have to decide which categories it belongs in, remembering how I have the the interrelationship of these boxes. Now, I also have a review up here. What's what? Real. All numbers, rational and irrational, belong to the real number system. What's rational? You can read that for yourself. What's irrational? There's a definition. What's integer? Are all the counting numbers and their opposites, both positive and negative, and zero? And then whole, all the counting numbers positive and zero, and, uh, and the natural numbers are the counting numbers one, two, three. So let's see, let's put, ready to put numbers in their place, and I will put it out in a problem, let's just do problems till they stop. Here we'll do new problem. Here's 4.24224 two 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 four hmm is that a repeat or is that a pattern without a repeat it's too bad we got this one first there's a pattern one two and then a four two twos then a four three twos and a four but it's not a repeat it's not a cookie cutter so that is irrational new problem O one, O one, O one, O one, O one going on forever. Now that is a repeating pattern, so that's rational. New problem. Radical nine is worth a three if we simplified it. So three is a natural number. Zero is real and rational. It's integer, but the smallest one, so that everything will be clicked that it belongs to is whole. New problem. Pi is irrational. New problem. Zero is whole. Negative 58 is an integer. See how you put numbers in their place, and it'll tell you when you're wrong. 
So if you have trouble recognizing what numbers are natural, whole, integer, rational, or real, you can use this pro program, the real number system. And it says choose wisely. All the correct boxes must be checked. So when you click that box, you have to make sure that you're clicking the box that would light up all the other ones that are correct. Have fun. Bye.